Test is the 80 kilogram light heavyweight final between boxers from Scotland and Wales. First of the Scoring this one using the 10 point clusters to the judges from Sri Lanka, Trinidad and Tobago, Kyrgyzstan, Germany, Canada. So into the boxing ring, accompanied by his characteristic cry of Woo! is Sean Lazzarini. Bout number four of Birmingham 2022 for the 25-year-old from Glasgow. 4-1 split decision winner of the Yusuf Changalawi, power-punching three-time national champion of Tanzania. In the semi-finals, it was a close and bout, opponent, low punch out blue corner, representing Wales. to progress Bevan through to contest championship goal. Out of the blue corner will be Taylor Bevan, 21 years of age. And this will be his fifth contest of Birmingham 2022. Unanimous point decision victor over England's Aaron Bowen at the semi-final stage, which was a terrific contest, filled with two-way action. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final of the men's light heavyweight division, contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, representing Scotland, Sean Lazzarini! And his opponent boxing out of the blue corner, representing Wales, Taylor Bevan. So Mr. Seru Whippy brings both boxers to center ring for the final instructions. Keep your head up. No hits behind the head. Watch those low blows and no holding. Shake hands, go back to your corner, wait for the bell. We're in the 80 kilogram light heavyweight division and this is the gold medal bout between boxers from Scotland and Wales and what a contest we have in store because both men possess blazing speed. The man wearing red is Sean Lazzarini. His speed is augmented by devastating punching power. The man wearing blue is Taylor Bevan whose speed punches are so sharp that his power comes in that regard. Both men have scored inside the distance victories with their different types of power. Sean Lazzarini, explosive. Taylor Bevan, razor sharp. He possesses a terrific left hook to both head and body. Lazzarini, proficient in the bent arm punch department also. What a contest we have in store. Could be a classic case of who lands the power shot first uh, between these two. Bevan, as you said, Ronald, his strength is in that left hook of his. Very good shot indeed, but he also, I think he's been the most impressive overall in the division in this tournament, says the man in blue. With his speed, his speed has been exceptional. But here, against Lazzarini, Lazzarini's got to really drag him into a toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, battle here. That's what Lazzarini's got to do. The Scotsman, very strong on the inside also. Likes to work uh, bent-arm shots up at short and close, uh, short and mid-range. That's where his strength is. Got to set the tempo a little bit faster here, as, as Lazzarini, but there you go, that was an indication of the speed of both boxers, but Lazzarini with the combinations, finishing on that left hook also, dangerous. So beyond the halfway stage of this opening round, tucking up tightly behind his gloves after landing that jab was Lazzarini, Taylor Bevan firing back with a combination, but effect, defended effectively by the gloves of Lazzarini. Now Lazzarini slowing it down to a tempo that will suit him. 
It was a low punch output as he scores with a left jab to the body. The counter right hand that came back from Bevan was short of the mark, but it was a low punch punch output in his semi final. In this type of tempo, you have to get you're left with the impression that this favors Lazzarini. It favors Laz Lazzarini if Bevan isn't throwing his jab. If, if, if they stick at this tempo, then Bevan, if he uses the jab with good effect, fast, sharp shots and trying to bring Lazzarini out of his shell a little bit, then it may actually suit Bevan. But if he doesn't use his jabs, then yes, Lazzarini, this will suit him most certainly. Probably needs a little bit more head movement, does Lazzarini, trying to block the shots there on the gloves and the elbow. But Bevan got to get to work a little bit more with that lead hand, Ronald. Ten seconds left for his Lazzarini coming forward, trying to box his way out of the corner. Here's Bevan. Both boxers letting their hands go, and eye-catching right hook landed for Lazzarini. The most eye-catching shot of that exchange. That was a fairly close round, wasn't it? You just got the impression towards the end of the round that Lazzarini probably did the better work. The last 30 or 40 seconds, then he started to push um, Bevan back. Good uh, left hook to the body, left hook to the head there from him. And this was a good exchange also. So he's explosive um, on the inside is Lazzarini. Your defence is on good. point. Your defence is fantastic. Nice strong defence in the way in. Small body over to the head. All right, Sean, you're doing absolutely fantastic. So let's have a look at the scores. Yep, it's a um, 4-1 split for Lazzarini. That last burst may have just been enough there. So we move into the second round. 21-year-old Taylor Bevan of Wales conceding the first round on a 4-1 split. Lazzarini timing his late rally to perfection. It was around the sound of the 10-second clapper where he got on the front foot and scored with an eye-catching right hook to end the round. And Taylor Be Bevan altogether busier to begin this second stanza, working that jab incessantly. But Lazzarini's defences proving difficult to penetrate and that's why Bevan intelligently drops down to the body and goes to work beneath the elbows of the man in red. Yes, Bevan has started this round the sense of, uh, of urgency. Lazzarini there trying to land that right hand over the top. I actually think Bevan should concentrate more on his probably right hand. Lazzarini's jab isn't as sharp um, as Bevan's. And there's that right hand there. So that's maybe the shot that he should be concentrating on. Getting Lazzarini to throw a, a slower jab. And then coming back with that fast counter. Well, he's getting to work with his sharp, accurate punches now. With Bevan, it's been a good portion of the round for him. Beating Lazzarini to the punch as Lazzarini and indeed Bevan working away with nudging right hooks on the inside. Referees giving, the giving them the opportunity to work. After the disengagement, Lazzarini onto the front foot and poking out a heavy, explosive lead left. Good left jab to the body from Lazzarini, then followed by a left hook after Bevan had his success, but after clumping left hook landed by Lazzarini and it reddens the face of Taylor Bevan. Bevan tucking up tightly as another attack comes in to both body and head from Lazzarini. Good portion of the round for the man in red. Yes, Lazzarini has got him to hold his feet, hasn't he? And that's suiting Lazzarini down to the ground. Bevan needs to work a little bit harder. But with, with him holding his feet, Lazzarini is brought right into it here. Doesn't have to go looking for Taylor Bevan. Big shots from both boxers. Singles being dug in. It was a good right hand from Bevan. He comes through with a three-shot combination. But again, the gloves proving to be an effective line of defense from Lazzarini. His left jab not too far away. Lazzarini on the front foot. Sinks in a good left hook just above the belt line of Bevan. Bevan inching his way back towards center ring. Fainting with his hands. Counter left, right. Not too far away from Bevan. But good head movement in the pocket from Lazzarini. Well, there's that right hand that we spoke about earlier from Bevan. And did that shot. And that's just slowed up uh, Lazzarini slightly. But again, the Welshman's got to work a little bit harder here. Lazzarini still dictating things because of the lack of uh, foot movement. So again, Bev Bevan's got to work a little bit harder with his lead hand, Ronald. Closing seconds of this second round. And again, Lazzarini, given his greater experience, sensing that the end of the round is nine, he's coming forward. That was a low blow from the left hand, perhaps. Bevan tried to fire back upstairs just before that. Heads rubbing together 
vigorously on the inside. Terrifically competitive round of boxing where both men enjoyed pockets of success. Bevan came out quickly, Lazarina responded and ended the round strong as well. Three minutes of good discipline, good time placement. You can exploit it more to the ball. Well, this time it was Bevan that worked harder towards the end of the round and probably caught the judge's eye um, in that last 30 or 40 seconds. Working better with his jab. I think it's a split round, it's close. Lazzarini there just making that mistake of after that shot just falling in and that allowed Bevan to, to get his better work off but this is towards the end of the round and it was a better oh, end no, to the round for this man. Well, I happen to think Bevan did enough to edge it but what say the scoring judges? Colin Jones sending him out with a rocket for the third and final round and the second round has been taken on a 3-2 split back to, the, to Taylor Bevan of Wales. So as we move into the third and final round of this 80 kilogram light heavyweight contest. This one is up for grabs after a competitive second round that was edged by Taylor Bevan. Two tight scorecards of 19 points apiece. Lazzarini leading 2018 for judges one and five. Bevan leading 2018 for judge two. So it's all come down to this. With Bevan starting this round again on that thumb foot, forcing the pace and pressure. Better work from him. The referee's going to say inside the glove there. Yeah. But again, Lazzarini's guard is very good indeed as they come up close. Probably needs a little bit more movement from Bevan. Just to create a little bit more room and, and space between himself and his opponent. Lazzarini loves this style of boxing on that front foot. Launching big hooks with Lazzarini. Both of them off the target because good movement was employed by Bevan. Bevan responds with a good right hand to the body. Lazzarini disengaging after landing a right hook upstairs. Peering between high held gloves is Lazzarini. But it's notable that Lazzarini breathing through an open mouth. And when you are such an explosive athlete as Sean Lazzarini is, the energy stores are often used like jet fuel. Burned out quickly, then you've got to hold on for a little bit, get the energy back and go again. As Lazzarini does there behind a jab followed by a left-right combination. But you see he's keen to cling on and let those energy levels recover once again. Bevan trying desperately to get his hands free. Into the last half, half of the round now, Ronald. So who can produce that bit of quality now, that eye-catching work? That's better from Bevan, just increasing the space. And as I say that, Lazzarini comes back with a terrific left up. Volume from Lazzarini, volume from Bevan. Single shot potency from Lazzarini, who's doubling his man over. And we wouldn't want to see a warning issued either way. That would probably determine this contest. So one minute for the boxers to find some quality to impress the judges. Jolting left jab lands from Bevan. And it's Lazzarini clinging on once again. Using all of his experience to try and save himself for a rally in the last 20 or 30 seconds. Beautiful left hook landed from Bevan. Lazzarini scored during that trade-off as well. As Bevan momentarily lost his boxing stance. Yeah, they both scored with, with big shots there, Ronald. Again, Bevan. Dangerous with his left hook, but Lazzarini dragging him into this toe-to-toe um, -to -toe battle. Short and mid-range, and that's where he does his best work. It has all come down to this. 15 seconds remain in the battle for 80 kilogram light heavyweight gold. It's another tangle initiated by Lazzarini but then reciprocated by Bevan who put him in a headlock. Closing stages of the contest. Left hook, right hook success and another left hook. Terrific conclusion to the round by the man in red. And those eye-catching punches in the closing stages of this 80 kilogram gold medal bout landed by Sean Lazzarini during the exchanges could well be decisive. Remember, he leads 20 points to 18 for Judge 1 and 5. We have two tied scores of 19 points apiece. And Judge 2 has it 2018 in favour of Lazzarini. Terrific conclusion to the round for the man in red. And that could well be decisive. Very, very close indeed, isn't it? I think Bevan up to his work rate right here. Show your appreciation we got for caught boxers. right at the end of the contest with a couple of eye catches from Lazzarini who literally dragged him in into that short and mid-range section and it was him who scored the better shots there's that left up there and that's going to catch the judges eyes but it's very close Ron most certainly is 
could well be split. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to your judges' scorecards where we have a split decision. For your winner, and now Commonwealth Games gold medalist. In the red corner! Sean Lazzarini! Representing He's the Scotland. Commonwealth Games light heavyweight champion. Sean a split decision Lazzarini. victor over 21-year-old Taylor Bevan of Wales. And Sean Lazzarini engaging with the crowd at the end of a terrific run to Commonwealth Games gold. It's a brilliant silver for 21-year-old Taylor Bevan. So much talent demonstrated during the course of the contest. He's bitterly disappointed. But there is the customary celebration of the man from Glasgow, Sean Lazzarini, who was eliminated in the first round of his first appearance in the Commonwealth Games four years ago. He's put in the grind, he stayed on it, and he will occupy top spots on the medal rostrum after a very clever display in that gold medal bout where he timed his late rallies to perfection in round number one and round number three. And Sean Lazzarini is the gold medalist at 81 kilograms, much to the delight of his friends, family and supporters here. What a performance, Ronald, by Lazzarini. Dragged Taylor Bevin, who I said at the start of the contest was the star performer in, in the light heavyweight division in the tournament up to now. He's caught everybody's eye with his fast um, shots and the, the left hook, especially. But this man got the tactics right. Dragged his opponent into a toe to toe battle. Bevin, very sharp with his jab, but Lazzarini's combinations on the inside, the left hook in particular, his own left hook was very good indeed. And his experience, Ron, you mentioned it. At the end of every round, he seems to um, finish strongly. And in that last round there, there was that left up that he caught Bevan with at the end of the, the second round. But as the, the contest went on, the third round especially, he just finished the stronger, cut the really good eye-catching shots that caught everybody.